how do we shut the system down safely? So as you can see over here, there are three uh, instruction panels, mounting first sample, changing samples, and shutting down. If you need to change samples, you'll follow this. This is an abbreviated version of the shutdown. So I am just gonna show you how to shut down. Uh, but if you needed to change samples, you basically uh, skip a few steps. Um, all right, so let's shut down. So what do we need to do? First, we need to raise the zoom body all the way up using the focus knob. So again, the zoom body is this part of the microscope and we wanna go up. So this is a place where we have to be careful. We don't wanna slam into the sample. So we wanna make sure we go up. That's why we have this here that shows you which direction you need to go to go up. So we're gonna rotate that as it says there. And you can see the objective comes out of the solution. Okay, what's next? So the next step is to loosen the hex screw on the right side of the gray stage plate. So remember, it's this screw here. We're gonna use this hex key. We're gonna insert it there and rotate it until that screw is loose. Okay, there we go. The next step is to rotate the objective out of the working position. Grab this, rotate it there. The next step, step number four, is to put on gloves, and after that we're going to wipe off all the DPE from the objective using lens paper. A few things you'll need when you're cleaning the objective are Kim wipes for the parts of the objectives that don't have uh, the lens, ethanol, lens paper, and whatever glove size you need. Finally, you're going to throw away um, things that have been in contact with DBE with this, um, in this container here. Okay, so how do we clean the objective? So there's sort of four steps to clean the objective and you only need to do these steps at the very end. So we need to clean the lens part, which is sort of the part with glass at the bottom, and then this groove right here, which actually uh, tends to accumulate a lot of DBE. We're gonna use different materials to clean those two things. To clean the, the glass surface on the bottom, we're going to use lens paper, which as I show you is here. And I grab two pieces of lens paper and I put them together and then I fold them in half and in half again. And then I wipe them over the bottom. So you can see a lot of DBE can come out. Then I throw it into uh, the trash can that I showed you underneath the, uh, the table, which has a, a lid that you can pop open with your foot so you don't need to touch anything. Um, then I grab a Kim wipe or two, and again, I fold them. And then I use this to go into that groove. And I throw this away. So now we're almost there. Um, the next step is to grab, again, lens paper, fold it. But instead of using it dry, now we're going to put a little bit of ethanol on it. And swipe it across. So when you're actually on the system, at this point, you can kind of lean down and look at it from here. Uh, and see if it's clean. If it's not, just repeat this step. And the final step is we're going to grab Kim wipe, fold them again, put a little bit of ethanol, and clean there. Okay. cleaning with a clean part of the Kim wipe because I dropped some ethanol there. All right, so that's the lens. You have to do that at the end. If you don't, uh, that, can, that can eat away at the glue that holds the lens together. 
uh, and we can have a problem. So please do that cleaning. You don't need to do it between samples, but you do need to do it at the end of your session. So I'm not going to move the camera to point at the instructions anymore because uh, I have my gloves on. I'll just read them. So once we've uh, wiped all the DB off the objector using lens paper, we have to remove the cradle that holds the sample with a paper towel and put it in the hood. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, I'm going to grab the paper towel from the hood. This is one of the most important steps to avoid spills. You wanna raise this very gently, then tilt it and let it drain in there. And then put the paper right under it, place it here and move it to the hood. The idea is to do it that way to minimize any spills around the edges. Okay, so the next step is to moisten a paper towel with ethanol and clean off any DBE from the stage or the gray stage plate. So, uh, you wanna make sure there's no DBE here. I don't see anything. Um, so that's great, I don't need to do that step. All right, so now I'm gonna lift this. and move it out of the way. I'm going to put the lid back on, and then I'm going to put the gray stage plate back on. So the lid is over here, if you recall this. I'm going to put that back on, and put this back in the hood. And uh, I'm going to check here. There are no spills, so we're fine. And I'm going to put this back on. All right, so now uh, this part's done. We need to move to the hood so you can see how to clean everything in there. So this is a side view of the hood, and let me show you how to clean things. So we need to put away our sample and disassemble this whole thing and clean everything. So the way we do this is, uh, this has just come from the light sheet. Uh, don't try and unscrew things without cleaning them first. The DB makes everything very slippery, so that's just going to uh, not be very effective. And also it'll get your hands dirty with DB, which means you'll be more likely to contaminate things or just make everything sort of a slippery mess. So I always first dry things out with a Kim wipe, and then I often use a different Kim wipe to unscrew the bottom screw which allows me to move and remove this one. Once I have this, I'm gonna open this up so that the sample falls into this container. Okay, and from here, I'm going to place the sample, hope you can see that, into this tube place the DB into that too. Okay. All right. Then I'll put this away in a moment. Um, the next is to clean everything. So we need to clean everything that was in contact with DB. So these are the various things that I touch with DB. So to do that, I first dry things out with a Kim wipe. some more Kim wipes, spray them with ethanol. It's easier to spray the Kim wipes than to spray the uh, actual uh, cradle and holders. That tends to get ethanol everywhere. It's much more effective to spray the Kim wipes, I find. And then use the Kim wipes to actually wipe what you need to. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now we need to kind of throw away everything, all, all the trash that we made. So uh, I'm going to remove this, tie a knot, and throw this and my gloves inside a trash can, which I'll show you in a moment. see, excuse me, just made kind of a bundle of everything, and this goes into this trash can here. And then we need to replace this bag. And 
gloves are down here. Please, as you can see, this is green, so don't use your gloves to grab this. There's some extra bags. And let's see if I can position this. Hopefully that won't fall. So you can see, you can open the, uh, the lid to the hood, just so you can get a little bit more room. And then there's the can. So I'm not going to touch anything, so I can use my bare hands here. Put that in there. Wrap it around. And then you can lower the hood by releasing this catch and lowering it down. So everything is now nice and clean. For the next person, I just need to put away that sample, which I'll do that in a moment with gloves, which I forgot to do. Okay, discard your waste bag, set up a clean one for the new user. We've done everything. Uh, we cleaned ethanol, we've, we've used ethanol to clean any spills, there weren't any. We've cleaned everything in here. We replaced the bag. Now remove your gloves, just did that. Exit the software, log off the computer, turn off all lasers, turn off power strip, and finish your session. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to exit the software just by Xing out out here. Um, then I'm going to turn off the lasers. <clears throat> turn off the power strip. Uh, close various things that I opened up. and then sign out. So the only things that are not on that list are the disinfection. So once we use the system, we need to wash our hands and wipe everything down with 70% ethanol, which I'll do, uh, but I can't do that very easily while filming. So I'll just do that. And then once you're done with that, you can just log out of the kiosk and you're done. I hope this was useful. Uh, do check out the advanced um, tiling, cropping, etc. if you think you'll need those options. And um, uh, send me an email if you, if you have any questions.